What's going on guys? James Run Good Life here and oh boy, this is going to be fun. So, let me let me talk to you about my last few days. Uh we've been snowed in here in Western Washington. Huge snowstorm came through. We got about 9 inches at the peak. It snowed about 3 nights here total. Couple nights it's been just cold and icy. We haven't got snow, but we've been being hammered with snow since Sunday. It's now Thursday night when I'm recording this. Uh I've only gotten out to the town twice. Uh, tonight or this afternoon, I got down there to go to the post office to mail some stuff. I stopped by the Fred Meyer. Uh, if you remember some of my last Donruss videos, I said I would only bust Donruss if it was gravity feed because the gravity feeds have the 50, the pink number to 50, the green and purples number to 10, also about one auto or two per gravity feeder. Um, and sure enough, I walk into Fred Meyer and two full gravity feeders and one with 47 packs. So it's missing one pack. Um, so I, I said, let's just go for it. You know, they, these are good. These are really good value. You know, if you're going to bust on rust, these are the ones to get retail. Uh, hobby boxes are also really good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get right into this. So this one's, I'm, I'm only going to do one this video. I'm going to do one per video just to keep these kind of, kind of, you know, a good length. Um, but you know, I've got some top loaders here. I've got some soft sleeves and, um, yeah, well, let's just go ahead and get into this. Like I said, these are $2 a pack. These are the best value you can get, in my opinion, um, from Don Russ. Uh, you just get, you know, the, the pinks and the number 10s are good. The signature series autos are, um, I, I actually looked at the checklist. You can hit Kobe, Jaw, and Zion actually aren't in it. Um, but that's okay. So I'm going to go through these really quick. Um, probably not do the base, uh, just do the hits. Expectations, PJ, Poole, and Culver are going to be the rookies. Prince Green. Thick pack here, so it's probably going to be a decoy. Um, every 48 uh, pack uh, configuration, you're going to be a pink in here though. So every 48 uh, pack configuration should have six pinks, one number to 10 uh, purple and green. Um, you know, yellow laser, yellow and green lasers, not numbered. You should get one to two autos, and you should also get uh, two to four jerseys. So our pink is going to be uh, Larry Nance to 50. Oh, Larry Nance. Clean looking card. That's that's a good start. That is clean, at least. Garland and Thibault going to be the rookies. Also, with this product, um, the rookies are all comboed together for the most part. We, we've talked about this at length in some of the previous Don Russ videos, but the rookies are coupled together. So if you get you know, the, the same two rookies, it's like Zion and whoever he's paired with, you'll always get that other guy that's paired with Zion. Russ Westbrook, so like Bull Bull, Jackson Hayes, these two, we should always get those two. Some of you said, you know, Don Russ is trash, why are you busting it? I'd agree with you, the blasters and the fat packs are trash. I probably also wouldn't pay for, uh, I, I would buy Hobby if it was more readily available, so... Bas yeah, Basley, Little, and Miles Bridges insert in that pack. Um, I enjoy this break, and, you know, with this, this is three full gravity feeders, so I'm going to get a fat stack of rookies, and I'm probably going to hold on to the, the majority of them. Giannis, Admiral Schofield, and Tyler Harrow. Um, so that that's kind of my game plan. Um... You know, I'll give you a good example with Prism. I held on. I only sold like some Zions and Jaws. I held on to mostly everybody. Uh, the kid from Detroit right now is it Seku Diamba? I'm probably butchering that name. I always butcher names on this channel if you watched any of my videos. Great expectations, Hunter, Tremont Waters, and Goga, the rookies. Uh, anyways, I didn't sell any of his stuff. I just kind of held on to it. I sold some pr silver Prisms uh, at like fifty bucks a pop. They're going way for way more now. So I do feel kind of silly about that. Um, so Cat, Fantasy Stars, Lucas Amenic, and Kyle Guy. So I do feel a little bit silly about that. But um, I had 16 prisms of his, uh, just prism-based rookie cards, you know, and they were $2, you know, a month ago. Uh, well, anyways, now I sold them for, I think, $7 a pop. And I kept a few, um, but Giannis Complete Players... Hunter and Brzezikis. 
Uh, and so that's kind of my game plan with basketball cards. You know, hold hold them till they get hot, and then try to move them. Um, and obviously keep a few. You know, I've I've kept definitely some Zion stuff. I've definitely kept some Jaw stuff. This one feels thick, so it might be a dummy in here. Yep. Ty Jerome, great expectations. Gafford, and there's Mr. Zion Williamson. So I'm hoping. With all these, I'm hoping to get about 10 of each rookie. I did the math. I think that checks out with 100 packs. Mm, one every seat. Mm, maybe not. Maybe it's more like six. So maybe it's more like six. 48 times three. So 96, 104, 144 packs, 50 rookies, 300. Yeah, so about six rookies per. You know, if you get lucky and hit more of one than another, sure. Porter and Cameron Johnson are the rookies in this pack. That's kind of the game plan. Uh, I would like to hit, you know, it'd be cool to hit a really good laser, you know, like a LeBron or a Luka. Um, my lasers and my numbered and my pinks have not been that good, uh, typically. It'd be nice to buck that trend. Rookie. Goga. So Goga Bitsy, number to 50. Totally butchered that name. Just Goga. That's good enough. Bone and Reddish are going to be the rookies. I'm trying to keep these videos a little shorter. It's been a while since I've ripped, actually. The last videos that were uploaded on my channel, I think the last one was Monday. I actually did those like a week ago. Um, so there's a jaw, great expectations. Poole and Culver are going to be the rookies in that one. So yeah, it's been a little while since I busted, actually. So it feels, <laughs> feels good to find product because all that's been available, you know, before the snowstorm was bas or was um, was uh, football cards. A lot of contenders around here. Luca Garland, he's playing kind of well. Thibault. So yeah, I looked at the um, auto checklist because the autos in, in these are actually part of what they call the signature series. It's not um, it's not the same configuration that you can hit in hobby. And like the best one, and there's a Seku. Uh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to watch some some highlights and, and remember how to pronounce his name. Um, but those are kind of hot right now. I'll probably be setting all the Seku and uh, Jaws and. Um, Zion's to the side. But, um, yeah, so I looked at the checklist, and it's a lot of, like, not... It's some rookies, some of the, like, the lower-tier rookies, like Kyle Guys of the World, we already hit one of those, um, and then some, like, mid-level veterans and stuff like that, and then also uh, Kobe being, like, one of the best. Bovichick, Jerome, McDaniel in that pack. Hope you guys have been doing well. You know, like I said, we've been snowed in, but hope you weather's better uh, wherever you're from. It's been cool hearing from you guys. I've been trying to keep up with all the comments. Expectations, little waters, goga. But yeah, I've been trying to keep up with all your comments and respond to everything. Um, it's been overwhelming, kind of the support that my channel has gotten in the last two months. So I really appreciate that. And I do want to continue to build it up. So that's the plan moving forward. I still want to do some cool videos like, you know, the stuff I collect. Because uh, I talk so much about uh, just selling cards and things like that. But I actually do collect cards and I actually do have a PC, so believe it or not. Um, so I'd like to do some videos like that where I'm not just ripping. Uh, and hopefully you guys would enjoy those. And I'd like to do some, like, Com C videos. You know, my own personal experience on Com C. I thought that would be pretty cool, too. I haven't seen many of these. Changing Stripes, Paul George. Hashimura, his hobby value really kind of just tapered off. Roby. I don't know why, either. Because I looked at his stat line a couple days ago. Oh, that pack did not want to open. I looked at his stat line a couple days ago, and like, he's still playing fairly well. 
I didn't see anything too crazy. Pink. Steven Adams. Number to 50. Number five of... Number one of 50. Okay. So that makes it a little better. Adams one of 50. First number, last number, jersey number. Barrett and Carson Edwards are going to be the rookies. So... I mean, I know it's. I know you guys have said, you know, some of you have said like Don Russ is a waste. Just wait till optic. But uh, you know, in terms of veteran base, like okay, here's a vet base. Here's the rookies and inserts, uh, and the inserts typically are pretty good. Um, I don't know. Maybe I just see things a little bit differently in, in the hobby. Um, like I said, Horton Tucker and another Diamba. So there's our second one of him. For me, it's it's almost like that that mentality of like nothing goes to waste, kind of almost. Uh, you know, I'll find a use for something. I do a lot of selling on Com C, um, and I, I do a little bit of putting together lots elsewhere. Another pink in here, putting together lots elsewhere. Um, so, uh, and then the veteran base and stuff that's just absolutely not worth anything. Um, you know, you can give that away. You can do something with that. Deadmond, uh, so that's kind of a dead. Number 18 of 50. It's kind of a dead insert. Grant Williams, Eric Paschal. <laughs> More bacon. Um, so you can always find stuff to do with cards, you know, especially with the rookies in these, in, in these sets, sure. Like maybe Prism and all the other sets are going to trump them now. Um, but look at some of the value of some of the rookies. Um, from last, even last year, just straight Don Russ. Just look at the, look at the values of what some of those are going for, and not just the Lucas. Like, I mean, maybe I'll, I'll give you a perfect example. Like, not from here. Um, Carson Edwards right now, his stuff dirt cheap. Maybe he goes on a tear next year, and now you know his prisms are five bucks a pop, and his uh, Don Russ is two dollars a pop. That two dollars just paid for one of your packs. And that's just like a rookie that you had written off and just thrown into a box somewhere. And now you have 20 of them because you opened a lot of this product. Like, you just have to go and find them, you know, dig through a, a box. And that's $40, like, just right there. Just off of some guy you thought was a nobody last year who's now, you know, kind of making a name for himself. There's a jaw. So, I mean, that's kind of my mentality, right? Like... Sell stuff when it's hot. Just stay on top of the market. Stay on top of your guys. Know who's who's doing what in the in the uh, you know in the in the association, and who's doing what in the hobby. Um, just because somebody isn't super hot, you know, doesn't mean you know coming back from an injury. Maybe you know maybe maybe PJ Washington gets hurt in the off season and he makes his debut late in the season next year, and there's some there's some hype for him, right? Like that's always a possibility. Like. And that's a, like a likely scenario. Not a likely, but Bull Bull and Jackson Hayes again. So you just got to think about, like, like have that mentality going into it. Like, it's not a waste of money if you don't make your money back, like, ripping. Like, if I don't hit, like, a Kobe Auto or a Zion Laser to 50 or something like that. You know, these these cost $2 each, and there's 48 packs. So after tax, you're about 100 bucks per gravity feed. You know, if I don't make that back right now doesn't mean that it was like a worthless break and that's what cards anyways like cards are supposed to be like entertainment there's no guarantee that you're going to get your value back you can make good decisions uh in terms of what you're busting and make good decisions when you're selling cards to try to make your money back um but there's no guarantee right so you know for me it's fun it's content i just I, I genuinely, like, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy having this camera sitting here and just talking to you guys, you know, and you guys are going to hear this and hit me with your comments. Um, so I am noticing, however, <laughs> changing stripes, Kyrie Irving, man, and Windler. I am noticing this, uh, other than the, the pinks, we have not hit any relics or uh, jersey or relics or autos. No, um, haven't hit our number to 10 yet. So the second half of this pack, because now we're 24, 24 of the 27 packs in. This one's going to be stacked. We do have, we have pink Chris Dunn. My wife out there. Chris Dunn, number to 50, number 21 of 50. This is another jaw. Yep. Another jaw Morant. So... 
two jaw, two sec out, one Zion, and one rookie at uh, number to 50. All right, so this back half better be stacked, right? Like, I think we've, we've gotten quite a few of the pinks, but we're still due an auto, I believe. Um, still do probably a Zion. Luca and Kyle Guy are going to be the rookies. I think we might have one or two more pinks coming, Luca base. So I'm going to go through one thing that I will say that I do. I do go through my base before I, like, give it away, and I will pull out the Giannis and Lucas and LeBrons. Probably just hold on to those for a while. I don't know. They seem like you know, LeBron franchise features. Hashimura, Roby. Just seem like good things to hold on to if you just have a bunch of LeBron base. You know, maybe maybe they never increase in value. And 10 years down the line, I just have like 300 LeBron base cards that I can put a lot together. S something, you know. Set mentality. Changing stripes. Kemba Walker, Barrett, and Carson Edwards. There's Carson Edwards. We just talked about him. Bruno and Drummond. This pack seems really thick, so... Maybe a decoy, maybe a relic. We'll see. Relic. Ooh, good. <laughs> that's a really good relic. Uh, that's probably like one of the best relics we can hope for, actually, if not Mr. Zion. So, Jaw, Jersey Series, Relic. More Jaw. Hey, yo. Go ahead and set that back there. I actually bought some of these little card holders. I think I actually call them currency holders, but they hold cards perfect in or out of a top loader. Terrence Mann, Dylan Windler, Franchise Features. Can I move these somewhere? Ugh. Too many base cards right now. Complete players, LeBron, Ingus Brzezikis, DeAndre Hunter. Complete players, uh, Gobert, Porter, and Cameron Johnson are going to be the rookies. Those are going to be guys I'm just going to hold for maybe ever. You know, maybe they just do nothing and I just have a box. Like I do just have a box, rather, of just rookies, you know, that never amounted to anything. But maybe Porter goes on a tear next year and starts putting up 20-point games, and now Porter stuff goes up. And, you know, that's that's the fun of collecting, you know, if you stay on top of things. Harrow, Washington, Claxton, LBJ. I, I would love to hit an LBJ numbered. That'd be, that'd be good. Like I said, uh... I like the pink laser, how they look um, in this set. So it'd be cool. I think if I hit a LeBron, it would definitely just... I don't collect too much LeBron stuff, but one of those would definitely stay in my PC. Lou Williams, Kobe White, Keldon Johnson. Harden and Levine. Griffin, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, and Cody Martin. We just saw the checklist for Revolution, uh, Panini Revolution. Kendrick Nunn not making an appearance. Ooh, color is this? this? I think this is our laser. This is actually a blue. I've never seen a blue. It's like a weird, like, camo blue. So. There's six at ten. Oh, oh, so it's a franchise feature. Okay. So this is going to be our number to ten. I was surprised because I, I knew all the colors for this. So I was like, what? Number six of ten franchise features, Kyle Lowry. I was trying to figure out what the hell it was. Because I was like, Camo Blue is not a parallel in this set. Number six, or yep, six of ten. It looks like eight of ten. So one off jersey number either way. Uh, Lowry could be much worse. Claxton and PJ Washington. To be John, not uh, Cody Martin. 
All right, so we're still looking for an auto. We're still looking for, I think, one more pink. I think that's right, one more pink, because usually there's two pink rookies. Um, and I think we're looking for one or two more relics. We're also looking for a Zion. Noel, Langford, and Lillard. Rondo and Harris. Thick pack right here, so this should be a relic for sure. This is actually feels too thick to be a decoy. And I'm wrong. Of course I'm wrong. More Nikhil Alexander-Walker, because he was the top card. I kind of already knew. So Walker, was there an insert in here that we missed? No. Or we just shorted a card. There was a decoy. There was a decoy and a, a small decoy. That's weird. SGA. Auto here. Is this who is it? Tony Snell? I was like, is this uh, Diamba? It's Tony Snell is going to be our auto. Damn, I was excited to actually see a Pistons. But not super excited for Tony Snell. Shout out. Sorry, apology to all you uh, Tony Snell super collectors out there. All, however many of you there are. Hashimura, Kobe White, and Keldon Johnson. All right, so my last full... 48 pack did have oh, 48 pack gravity did have two autos and it had three relics i believe so maybe we'll hit some more good stuff langford gafford and there's our second zion had to think about that there's our second zion so like i said we should probably hit about six zion maybe seven if we can beat the odds Again, super thick pack, so probably decoy, maybe relic. I don't know anymore. That last one threw me for a loop. Let's do that. Little and Basley. Back to where we started, almost in pack one. I'm looking over here in my... Uh, I, I now have three monitors. I know I should probably do show you guys a tour um, of my office at some point because it's just a mess of shoes and uh, there's another pink in here. It's just like a mess of like unboxed shoes. Oh, card back here too. Uh, so unboxed shoes, triple monitor, uh, home office, um, and cards everywhere. Okay, okay, that's actually it's actually a really good laser. That's a Giannis uh, Antetokounmpo laser. 27 of 50. Good looking laser. I would say he's probably, if you're not going to hit a rookie, that's uh, third behind LeBron and Luka. For sure. I can't think of any other vets in the set that you'd want to hit a laser. Uh, Langford and Noel are the rookies. I feel like we've seen them multiple times now. Uh, how many packs do we have? Four packs left? It's four packs left. 47 packs in this one. The other two have the full 48. Somebody either bought one or this one was just one short from that factory. I want to assume somebody bought one with this one. Harden, Kabengle, Witherspoon, Porter Jr. MPJ is hot. I just, I, I got a nice little steal today. I got a red number to, what are they? 299 MPJ from Prism last year for like $35. And silvers are going for like 50 right now, 50 to 60 on average. So it's pretty dang happy with that pickup. Expectations, Cam Johnson, Grant Williams, and Paschal. Looney and Martin. Two packs left. Surprise, we've only had one auto and um, one auto, one relic. Uh, not what I not what I experienced in the last um the last gravity feed, as you guys remember. Bradley <laughs> Beal, Bone, and Cam Reddish. So last pack here. Uh, are we going to get some uh, added mojo, or is this... The, everybody on, on Twitter said that the configuration was like two autos, one number to ten, like six... Yeah, so let's just see. So we do, do have a laser in here. Last pack laser. Not a rookie. Jonathan Isaac, though. 
do see a pink uh, rookie to, over there. So there is a chance that we hit a... I'm not sure if I've seen Smallegic today. I'm actually not sure what I was going to top load that. So is this a jaw? Brandon Clark. Yeah, I was like, I didn't. we hadn't seen those two yet. So uh, do a quick little recap. Again, I'm not going to go through the stack there. You guys kind of all saw those rookies and stuff. But I will go through just kind of the nicer stuff. You know, the auto and sort out these pinks. So... In terms of the rookies, hit the two Zions, two Jaws, and two Seco. For the lasers, the pink lasers, we hit a Gogo -Go and Giannis. So those are actually two really, really good lasers out of the other one. The other ones were not so great, so that's why they're in the, they're in the pile. And Kyle Lowry and uh, Signature Series, that's actually on the... Is that on the... Yep, that's just bad penny sleeve. I was like, what? Tony Snell going to be our rookie. Um, so, oh, and the jaw rookie, or jersey series rookie, uh, rookie jersey. All right, so that is going to do it. This Consider this part one. We've got part two and three back there. Um, first gravity feed, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. Could have been a little bit better, um, but like I said, the value for me is just holding on to this thick stack of rookies um, long term. Uh, the jaw is pretty cool, you know, and hitting the two jaw rookies, the two Zions. Um, I'm sure I'll go through this and put a lot together or something of some of the stuff, maybe the inserts, but you know, I, I like it. Like you guys have said, you know, Don Russ is trash. I, I have to disagree. I think that the gravity packs are where it's at. Um, so part two coming up, I uh, expect it in a day or two. And, um, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the follows. Thank you for everything. You guys have been great to me in the hobby. So much appreciated and we'll catch you down the road.